Welcome, everybody. <clears throat> It's September 21st, and we have a, an amazing show for you tonight. Our guest, her name is Marianne, and、um, she is a former Illuminati asset. She'll describe exactly her role in the Illuminati. She has since broken free, and she's willing to tell us a little bit about her experience. And about their agenda, we're going to be careful not to name too many names in order to protect Marianne because she's taking a great risk. Marianne, are you there? Yes, I am. Hello. Hi, Marianne. Thanks very much for joining us tonight. Thank Marianne, you for having、uh, me. Tonight, Mary.、Uh, tonight is the vernal equinox. You mentioned. Yes.、Yeah. What? What would you? What is? What would your uh, former uh, acquaintances in the Illuminati be doing tonight on the vernal equinox?、Um, this is a very important holiday to them. It is、um, what many on the calendar consider one of the top six holidays. They are、um, celebrating the、um, harvest. This, so this is a harvest festival. And、um, in that festival, they、um, will commit sex acts, and、um, a human will be sacrificed. Now, is this just one human in one location, or is this Not taking place? Not at all. No, this will be done all over the world by those who are involved. So, are we talking about hundreds of rituals in which humans are sacrificed? I would say tens of thousands, if not more. <clears throat> where do they、uh, Where do they get these sacrificial、uh, victims?、Uh, a lot of them are specifically、um, conceived for the very purpose of later being sacrificed. They have、um, women that are called breeders who. Uh, there's actually no record of them being alive. This is a perpetual thing that they do, and all these women do is get pregnant so that they can have children that will be sacrificed. In addition, a lot of the missing children we hear about are also um, victims um, in these rituals, and it's not always children. It depends on、uh, what particular ritual they're doing.、Um, they Sacrifice adult men at、um, the Friday before Easter. What is the、um, what is the intention? What it, what do they、uh, what do they believe they're achieving through these human sacrifices?、Um, it's、uh, primarily they believe that they are gaining power.、Um, it is the desire of、uh, Lucifer. Their Their God, the, the one that they follow and and are working to satisfy,、um, is to shed blood because they know that there is phenomenal、um, value in blood, or that's their belief.、Um, that's also a belief in Christian faith, but that was、uh, mainly accomplished through the sacrifice in the Old Testament of animals, and then in the New Testament of Christ. But basically, they believe that they will be、um, gaining power, and often, as a part of that ritual, they will eat the heart, and they prefer to have it still beating. I know that's pretty, pretty gross, but that's okay,、uh, Marianne.、Common. Thank you, thank you, Marianne. As you can hear, the music's on. We'll be back in three minutes. We're back with Marianne, who is a former Illuminati asset. We'll be talking about her role in more detail later. Marianne, before the commercial break, you were talking about how the,、uh, Illuminati members are celebrating the vernal equinox tonight, September 31st. You were talking about how they indulge in human sacrifices.、Uh, you also mentioned.、Um, That some kind of sexual rituals. Can you elaborate on that?、Um, well, that's considered、um, 
a side benefit, if you will, in um, in that circle. They um, obviously get gratification from that, but they also believe that there is uh, power, um, spiritual power that they gain through um, doing that. Um, in addition, it serves another purpose. Um, often it's done to young children, and so that used to um, instill fear, um, also to create a, uh, a sense of um, being a part of the group, um, that you're different. Um, you, sometimes they'll tell you you're special because this is very special and um, that makes you important. Um, it also creates a, a sense that um, you can't tell. There's a lot of uh, negative reinforcement if you told someone who wasn't in the group what was occurring. So there's many purposes that that serves, and it also serves to bring about, um, for many children, especially uh, prior to age of four, um, a, a sense of um, being able to distance themselves where they actually block the pain, and then when they experience other forms of pain, they also block that, so they actually live two separate lives, if you will. There's the life that they have in the cult, and then there's the quote-unquote normal life that they live with their family that's just like everybody else's family, or that's the perception. Marianne, who are these people um, who commit these act, acts during, during the daytime? I mean, in gen generally speaking... Um, I apologize. I'm having tremendous difficulty hearing you. Um, uh, did you hear my question? Who are these people during the daytime? Are they school principals? Are they oh, business Oh, yes. Men? Actually, um, they <laughs> serve in a lot of um, variety of, of jobs, and most certainly education is a very big one um, because they have access to children, also daycare workers, medical providers, uh, particularly, um, say, uh, pediatricians, um, nurses, uh, therapists, and a lot um, are in the uh, psychological community because they uh, want to, uh, to make the person doubt that what they experienced was really an accurate perception of their life, um, but they're in all walks of life, and I think that's really important um, to note that they're in the banking industry, they're in the legal system very prevalently, law enforcement, um, judges, um, government agencies, for example, um, people who award contracts within local, state, and federal um, agencies. They're very heavily um, involved in the uh, legislative branch of our United States government. Um, they're in the three branches of our national government in the United States, um, the executive, the uh, legislative, and the judicial. Um, in other words, they... They've networked in a lot of different professions, primarily so that they can um, cover for each other. They're also very involved in technology, um, in the life sciences, in the computer industry, military, very heavily in the military, um, in the religious organizations, in um, a lot of the charitable organizations, research areas tend to have more than other professions, but um, they're everywhere. So to say um, that they're just limited to a couple industries would be um, inaccurate. 